It is Sunday, 19 June 2022. The past week there was a big meeting in St. Petersburg and true to tradition the Western mainstream media did not attend and did not report on it. It is actually a shame but I have grown accustomed to the Western outlook of hating Putin and hating Russia and only reporting negatively on Russia. There was a large conglomeration of important business people and politicians from the rest of the world, excluding the so-called Western world. This so-called Western world, if you look at the map that I'm putting up now, you can get an idea of what is the West and what is the rest. Most important for me is the speech that Putin made. And it will serve us all well to pay attention to what he said there and really think about it. Because what Russia has done in the Ukraine was to reveal the ugliness and the arrogance of the so-called collective West. Uh, the media ignores the atrocities that the Zelensky regime has committed in the Donbass. And even now, like this last few days, they have intensified the bombing of Donetsk. Bombing civilians, bombing citizens. And they do it with the weapons that the West has supplied. That is a shame. But it took the Russians three days to just take note and survey of what is happening there. And last night, the Russian forces started blasting those Ukrainian nests to pieces. I also read a little article uh, on Telegram where someone posted that they also hit a command post last night and 50 senior Ukrainian officers were killed. Putin has warned them many times. They must not escalate this war, but the West does not listen. Now, I want to talk about Putin's speech and I will read the points and I will also put them up on the screen for you and you can read them further and think about it. The first and most important statement that he made is the era of the unipolar world order has come to an end. Now we all know what he means by that. He simply means that the days of America dictating and terrorizing the world is over. Second point, the United States proclaimed itself to be God's messenger on earth with no responsibilities. That is something to think about. And it is true. The U.S. goes around the world and attack and invade countries and force people to bow down to their will. And they've been doing it without any opposition for a very long time. Those days are over. These are the objective processes and genuinely revolutionary tectonic shifts in geopolitics geopolitics, the global economy and technology. It would be a mistake to assume that everything will get back on track and, beca and become what it was before. It will not. And in that, I'm sure he's referring to the sanctions war that was launched against America and what happened after that and how the world is busy realigning itself on a global basis as far as trade is concerned. Our colleagues in the Western States are trying to reverse the course of history. They seem to think in terms of the past century and harbor illusions. They refuse to notice obvious changes, stubbornly clinging to the shadows of the past. It is a pity that the West does not pay attention when Putin speaks because as it is today, he is obviously 
the only in the the only adult in the room when it comes to leadership, political leadership. It is absolutely disgusting to look at the collective West's leadership. They are bumbling fools if you compare them to Putin. Countries of the so-called golden billion still treat all the other countries like colonies and the people living there like second-class people. How true is that? There is not a there's almost zero countries in the rest of the world that is not subjected to one or other form of Western sanction. And the West does not care how much the people of those countries are suffering. But times are changing. The predictions of the dollar at 200 rubles and the collapse of the Russian economy have always been and remain just an instrument in an information struggle. The economic blitzkrieg against Russia was doomed to fail from the beginning. The EU's direct calculable losses from the sanctions fever could exceed $400 billion this year. The root cause of the EU and US economic problems is their erroneous economic policies and the Russian operation launched in Donbass is a lifetime they are lifeline they are grabbing at to be able to blame their own miscalculations on others, in this case on Russia. The European Union has lost its political sovereignty. It is powerful points that he has touched here and it will do and serve the West well to pay attention. What is obvious is that the unipolar world that America has built is done. It's over. We're looking at the multipolar world and it is obvious that between Russia and China they are setting up an environment in which countries can participate in the global trade without being bullied and without being dictated to. Between Russia and China, they are now working on expanding the BRICS group and Russia is working on a way to make it possible for the rest of the world to do global payments outside of the Western SWIFT system. What we should take note of is that the end of the Western Empire is on us. Europe is going to collapse. I foresee that there are countries in Europe which will turn into real third world countries. They are going to suffer. Economically, they are going to come to a standstill. And all because of this senseless sanction war against Russia. And it is a fact, as far as I am concerned, Europe cannot exist without Russia.